Yeah, so this week we put forward what is actually our first motion in Parliament. The motion was calling for the government to deliver uh, free school meals to all state, primary and high schools um, throughout the state. We have been looking at models from New South Wales and Victoria and Tasmania and also looking at the long-standing experience of Scandinavian countries, in particular Finland. We know that there's huge benefits from offering free school meals. You're much more likely to have kids attending school and staying at school. Concentration is much better. Learning and play is much better. Behaviour is much better. Uh, and then you contrast that with um, you know, this supposed crisis of youth crime. One of the, the biggest ways to deter um, young people from you know, engaging in, in criminalised activity is to keep them at school. And so having pathways that can keep young people at school. Um, we had costed it to be about $375 million a year. And, um, and this is based on experience in other states where, um, you know, the uptake of school meals isn't, uh, not 100% of families will take it up. There's plenty of families who will still choose to, to be feeding their kids and packing school lunches, and that's fine. And that's what we had assumed in our, in our policy, that there is a choice there for families. But the crucial thing being that any family who wants it is able to access it. So it's universally accessible as opposed to what we have at the moment in a lot of schools where it's sort of like come round to the tuck shop door and a teacher will be there to help you. Uh, You know, it's not just something that's open and accepted. And um, there are a lot of schools that do have a a lunch or a breakfast program. Food Bank, for example, offer about a thousand meals a week. Lots of other PNCs and schools offering kind of ad hoc um, program so what we were saying is roll it out in every school make sure every kid has the choice of having a free school meal um, that motion was uh, voted down by the government um, they were uh, demanding to know from us which schools uh, in Queensland they are where kids are going hungry um, and my response is they're in my electorate I've spoken to parents I've spoken to teachers who who know that there are kids who are going to school hungry um, and this is in you know, one of the most affluent um, neighbourhoods in the state. Um, can you imagine what's going on out uh, in, uh, in places like Ipswich and Logan and, and in rural and regional Queensland where, where kids are really struggling? Um, and, and setting that against a broader context where child poverty in Queensland has increased over the last decade. We're actually the only state where child poverty has increased. So we've got a real crisis on our hands. Um, the government voted down that motion um, and what we're left with is, is kids in Queensland who will still be going to school um, hungry. And then off the back of that, they propose changes to uh, youth justice, which are going to make it harder for kids to get out on bail and a trial of um, GPS monitoring bracelets on kids, um, which we know will disproportionately affect those kids who are already the most vulnerable We know that one of the biggest links between um, criminalised activity uh, is poverty. And uh, so this is just going to target those kids who are already struggling the most. Um, And uh, so, yeah, ironically, both of those things happened in the same week in Parliament.